Hi, this is Julie with Bee to Holic, and today I'm going to show you how to make a purse hanger. First off, you're going to need the hardware itself, which is this collapsible purse hanger right here. The way it works is you put this flat side on the table itself and you hang your purse from the hook and it prevents your purse from becoming dirty and having to sit on the floor. What's nice about this is it has a well which you can fill with a decorative embellishment and so then it's both decorative and functional. I chose an image from a collage sheet of butterflies which I'm going to use. I'm going to cut out this one right here so you're going to need an image. The other supplies you're going to need are uh, resin. I'm going to use gel du soleil which is a one part resin and I also have the UV lamp right here. If you're in a sunny climate you can just go ahead and put it out in the sunshine and it will cure on its own. You're going to need a paintbrush and you're going to need some glue to get the image to adhere to the hardware itself. You're going to need a sealant to coat the image after you've glued it. You can also use Mod Podge or a sealant, it's up to you. You're going to need a pair of scissors to cut out the image and you're going to need a pad of paper to put your glue and your sealant on. So to begin with, let's go ahead and cut out the image. I actually have a sheet here that I've already used a couple images from. Carefully cut around the exterior of the image. Once you've cut the image out, check to make sure it's going to fit into your bezel setting. If you need to trim it down at all, go ahead and do, do so now. Now that we have our image cut out, we want to check its orientation with the alignment of the purse hanger. So since it's going to hang on a table like this, I want my butterfly to be placed in it like so. I'm going to take some glue, put it on a little scrap piece of paper, and now you can either use a paintbrush to paint it on the back, the glue, or you can do like what I do. I just actually take a little bit on my finger, spread it on the back of the image, going all the way to the edge, making sure I get each corner. I then flip it over and place it into your setting and smooth it out, making sure you press down along all the edges. And now we're going to let that dry for about 15 to 20 minutes. After our glue has dried, we're going to go ahead and coat the image in a sealant. I'm going to pour a little bit onto my piece of scrap paper. Taking a paintbrush, I'm going to paint along the edges first, making sure that they're fully coated. And then coat the interior of the image, making sure you get all of it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to let this dry for again another 15 to 20 minutes. And then I'm actually going to come back and paint not one more coat, but two more coats for a total of three coats of sealant before I go on to my next step. It's been several hours and we've painted three layers of sealant on top of our image, letting them dry between each layer. And now I want to go in and put the resin into my pendant. And I'm going to be using gel du soleil. Gel du soleil actually comes in two different sizes. You have a large four ounce bottle, which is quite a lot of product. And then you have this small little one, which is 0.3 ounces. I actually really like the small one because you'll notice the applicator tip. It comes to a nice point as opposed to the large bottle, which has a little flip uh, lid like this. What I do is I refill the little bottle every time it runs out with the contents of the big bottle. I just find that's a little bit easier for me to work with, but you can do whatever is easiest for you. And because of the depth of the setting itself, I'm actually going to do several layers of the gel du soleil instead of one layer. So we're just going to go ahead and fill our pendant with the resin. What's nice about gel du soleil is you have a lot of time to work with it because it won't cure until you actually put it in the sunlight or into the UV lamp. So I'm just going to carefully tilt my purse hanger so that the gel du soleil gets into all the corners. Because I'm not filling this all the way full, 
I actually have that flexibility to gently tilt it. I want to fill it about half full and I've done that at this point. And now I'm actually going to let it rest for just a few minutes to see if any bubbles come to the surface. And if they do, I'm just going to pop them with a straight pin. All right, we were lucky and no bubbles came to the surface. So I'm going to take my purse hanger and very carefully holding it even, I'm going to put it into my UV curing light. If you're in a sunny climate, you can actually put this on a windowsill and it will cure with the natural sunlight as well. The UV lamp is very convenient though because I only have to put it in here for about 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to let that sit and I will come back to it in about 20 minutes. Our second layer of UV resin has now fully cured and your purse hanger is absolutely lovely at this point. It's completely durable and solid. The layer went right to the top. So at this point you could actually be done. You're going to have a great looking piece. Now if you do want to go and add one extra step and have a slight domed appearance to your purse hanger, I'm going to show you how to do that, but definitely feel free to stop right now. You can absolutely be done and your piece is going to be lovely. If you do want to create a slightly domed effect, what you're going to do is we're going to actually do a third layer of the UV resin. And the way we're going to do this is we are going to start in the middle and very slowly and carefully add the third layer. And we have to be careful with this, this one that we do not go over the edge. We're going to want the surface tension of the rim itself to hold the resin in place. You'll notice I'm actually not applying the resin to the edge. I'm keeping it in the middle. And that's because I want to have the surface tension work with me versus work against me. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, the tip of my applicator, of my bottle itself, and gently push the resin towards the edge. I need to add a little more, so I'm adding it to the middle. And I'm going to push. You might even want to get down on your knees and look at this from a side view, just so you can see how the resin is doing and if it's doming properly. I'm actually going to take a step back and I'm going to look at it from a side view. I actually want it to be a little bit more domed, so I'm actually going to add another drop or two to the middle. You'll probably notice I have two pretty large bubbles on the top of my resin, and I'm just going to take a beading needle, or any needle will do, and I'm going to pop them. I'm not really pressing that hard, I'm just tapping them lightly, and they're going to disappear. I'm going to wait a couple minutes and see if any more bubbles appear. If they do, I'm just going to do that same process of just tapping them lightly with my needle. All right, you've waited a couple minutes. You've removed any bubbles with that needle, if you had any. And now, very, very, very carefully, you are going to keep this completely level and transfer it to your UV light. And we'll be back in 20 minutes to show our final product. That was a quick 20 minutes and we're ready to pull our purse hanger out from under the UV light and see our final product. And here you have a lovely purse hanger custom made by you.